Jeff has been with the club since its uh, uh, founding, and um, he's uh, he's. He's, he's the grandfather and the father that everybody needs at the club. Since my first days in Pirates, which was many years ago, he's always been there as our mentor, used to run with us, and then was always there in the background and the sidelines coaching, taking us out on the road and seconding us on his bicycle when he was a bit too old to run. And he's been around forever and a day. There's an institution at Pirates. I think our first comrades uh, as, as a club was uh, 1978. Um, Jeff, I don't think he was there the first year, but he came along in 79, I think. And uh, he's been the inspiration of the club uh, until today. Just check it out. Can you see two to eight one anywhere? <laughs> yeah. Um, from a personal point of view, I've always enjoyed sport, soccer, tennis, cricket, the usual things, but running caught me in the late 70s. Pirates main club is well over 100 years old, but the road running section started basically in 77, and then in 78 was the first entry for the Comrades Marathon. <laughs> I ran it in 79 and thereafter 10 in a row which was I was very fortunate and then in 85 uh, I was uh, lucky to be made president of this fantastic in my view running club pirates winner 19 Jeff is just the most he's this wealth of knowledge of um, historical detail around running not only that, but he's, he's just so invested in every single member of the club. He knows the personal things that matter to them. He cares about them, he invests in them. We do um, track training with him. And he, he just, yeah, he loves each and every one of the Pirates members and treats them like his own children. So he's, yeah, he's a president like no other. Jeff, Jeff did a lot of training on a Friday morning with the guys, trying to get their speed work up and whatever. And he mentored uh, Mark and Michelle. And uh, it, it was just wonderful that, that they flew him down uh, to witness this event with them and also to be here for John. Um, it was outstanding. This would have been his 33rd Comrades Marathon and unfortunately he passed away February of this year. He was a true doyen of Pirates Road running and uh, but we're actually running this year in his memory. He's a true friend of all of us. So for me personally, this is lovely, you know, it was a, it was a wonderful gesture from the Mark and Michelle to invite me to pop along with them. In 88, that was my green number. I ran my 10th in 88. Now, 30 years on, Michelle, she's running her 10th one as well. So yeah, look, it's, there are lots of people, schoolboy stuff, but it's very significant to a lot of us, you know. Uh, particularly this iconic race, which it is iconic. You know, when it's in your blood, it's in your blood. Um, when I ran it in the late 70s and 80s and 90s, it was perhaps a little different, but it's still zero to 90. It's still heartache, it's still ecstasy, and it's still something which is a real South African iconic event, without question. This obviously is the uphill. Pirates main club is well over 100 years old, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, in Johannesburg, along with Wanderers. In those early days, Fordyce used to come to Pirates. We also, of course, had dear old Pirates, a small club. The winner, Cheryl Jorgensen, she finished in about 7.04 for the win in 1982. A whole bunch of them. We've had other guys like Peter Connolly, who was an Australian guy. He was, he was probably one of our better. And of course, dear old John. Look at that, that's his number, that's very important. I'm very fortunate to be a, a very personal friend with his family and his girls. And it's that sort of thing that road running really endeared itself to me. And I, I've loved it for the last 40 odd years. There we 
Miguel. You know, they say behind every good man is a good woman. And in my case, I've got the most incredible wife. She's long suffering. Most of our sort of senior married life, road running has been the thing. And it's taken my wife and I to London, Melbourne, and so forth. It's been a family affair, it's been a club affair, and it's been huge friendships. That, that, that more or less spot on. Now I do feel goosey. <laughs> Mark most certainly looked terrific. Hopefully it continues like that. As far as Michelle is concerned, in the next half an hour or so, then we'll see. My little bit of input is training on a, a five o'clock or half past five on these winter mornings or summer mornings in Joburg. Yes, I still wave a flag around. I still do all sorts of things which you need when you're putting on a road race. And long may it last as far as I'm concerned. Gotcha! Right, let me have a look. Today is as good as it was 40 years ago. Yeah, it's been nothing but a great journey as far as I'm concerned. Pirates! I'm very, very proud of these guys. Exceptionally good. Expectations. Sometimes we can live up to them, but sometimes we have to live with a minor disappointment. But as long as they're both okay, in fact, all my pirate boys and girls are okay, that's all that matters. I'm gonna go and see my boy. Come here. Okay. Probably better than you. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, my boy. Yeah, Proud of you. Sorry, No, you don't. Sorry. When I can run it in eight hours, then then you'll be sorry. She's here. She's here. Hello, Greeny. <laughs> I couldn't do it. The memories are absolutely enormous. I've had such a fantastic time. Okay, I'm. I'm a little older these days, but nevertheless, I can enjoy it to the full. And to see people like Michelle and Mark and many more from Pirates, it really is fantastic. Keeps me young. <laughs>